Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome back to yet another weekly beauty chit chat. Um, if this is one of your first videos here on my channel, the weekly beauty chit chat goes up most Fridays and it's just an opportunity for me to casually talk with you guys about the fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary beauty products that I was personally loving or obsessing about over the course of the past week. Per usual, I have a fun little lineup of things from this past week. I will list and link everything that I'm mentioning in the description box right below this video. So if you'd like to know where to purchase these items, read up other people's reviews, look at in-depth ingredient information, um, check that description box out. It's usually a plethora of information. Um, anyway, let me know how your week was, and also don't forget to let me know what you were um, loving in terms of hair care, skin care, makeup, or body care in the comments down below. Um, I had a good week myself. Uh, super excited about the temperatures no longer being in the hundreds and things like cooling down just a little bit. Um, it's been quite toasty here in Oregon, and um, yeah, not being a summer girly, it's it's a little bit of a struggle. So, but things are looking up and fall is right around the corner. So I'm getting pumped about that. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's dive into the faves for this past week. We're going to get started with perfume, which is usually where I get started. Uh, I am a huge sucker for the smells. So um, even though I have a like work from home type situation and I don't leave the house too terribly often, I hose myself down with perfume every single day because it really lifts my mood. There is something about fragrance that just, it just makes me happy. So anyway, um, I have two favorites from this past week and I just realized they are both in the same color family. <laughs> Got some lovely blush pink containers here. Let's get started with this one first. This is actually what I'm wearing today. This is the Ariana Grande um, Mod Blush, I think it's called. It actually doesn't say on the bottom of the label here, but I'm pretty sure it's the Mod Blush. I actually purchased this in a duo that also came with the Mod Vanilla. I love the Mod Vanilla. And if this little duo is still available, I will be linking that down below because it's a great deal. And it's a wonderful way to try both of these fragrances. And since they pair so well together, I just think this is a great route to go. So um, in terms of the fragrance here with the Mod Blush, you are getting the most beautiful, feminine, soft, floral. Um, I am wearing this today, like I said. I smell so pretty. <laughs> This is one of those fragrances that just really makes me feel very girly. Um, it's fun, it's kind of vibrant, but not too over the top. It's just a really enjoyable fragrance, you guys. And the atomizers, the little sprayers on these are fabulous. So let me just kind of, I'll do a little touch up here for you. Do you see that nice mist? That is what you want out of a, a perfume atomizer. Oh man, it's so pretty. And the dry down is, I think, even better. It just like warms up a little bit once it sits on your skin for a little while. And those floral notes are really just perfectly amplified. So anyway, if you're in the market for a kind of pretty, um, fun, but you know, pleasant floral, check this one out. Totally, totally worth looking at the next time that you pop into your local Ulta. This is fabulous. Sorry about that little interruption there. Let's continue on with the second fragrance pick of this past week, and it is Casablanca by Brown Girl Jane. Um, this is, in a way, kind of polar opposite <laughs> from the Mod Blush. Um, this is what I would consider to be a very warm, cozy, powdery, slightly musky vanilla. Um, love this one. Honestly, I've had this fragrance on my to buy list for quite some time. And as soon as they popped up in Sephora, I immediately snagged this particular one. I opted for the travel size first, but I am definitely committed to purchasing this in the full size after I finish the travel size. This particular fragrance is one that I find myself reaching for when I just, like I said, want that warm, cozy, comforting type feeling. Um, this is one that I really like applying before going to bed because it really does, like I said, it just kind of makes you feel like someone is wrapping you in a warm hug. I mean, not to sound like 
you know, Olaf from Frozen, but I really do enjoy the overall vibe that this one gives me, and it's just a really wonderful fragrance. Super looking forward to sporting this throughout this fall and winter. You'll be seeing this one quite a bit more. Um, a quick heads up because I can hear him snoring. I'm going to assume that a lot of you are probably like, what is that noise? Um, my pug Alf is taking a nap next to me here. Um, this is just part of the free uh, ASMR that I provide on my channel. So yeah, this is what it's like living with a pug. They're just noisy little creatures, but I don't know. I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I feel like I don't mention the purple shampoo and conditioner that I uh, am currently using too terribly often, but if you are new here, I am naturally gray. Um, I'm still in the process of fully transitioning. So you can see that my um, natural hair color, if you will, is uh, kind of a dishwater blonde. Um, everything towards the like top of my head here has pretty much transitioned to gray. Um, I started going gray very early in life, um, fought that for a lot of years, and then finally decided, yeah, I'm over it. I don't wanna color my hair anymore. Um, had to change, you know, a lot of things about my hair care routine after doing that. Um, definitely tend to splurge a little bit more on my hair now because I just, I love the gray so much. I will never be changing it. I do realize it's not for everybody, but for me, I've just really chosen to embrace it. And I feel like it has honestly allowed my confidence to flourish. Um, I am no longer, you know, trying to cover something up to, you know, hide from people that, uh, that I have gray hair and not caring is, it's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> But I feel like that just also naturally comes when you, you know, get into your 40s and you just start caring a little bit less about what other people think. It's fabulous. If you're not there yet, um, I'm excited for you to be there because it's it's great. I'm honest, I'm loving the 40s, minus like the hormonal issues that I'm going uh, through. I feel like my 40s have been a pretty good time so far. So anyway, all right, purple shampoo and conditioner that I have been using for a number of months now. This is the Purology Strength Cure Blonde um, Shampoo and Conditioner. You can see the pigmentation of these. You can see that in the little um, spouts here at the top. This is extremely pigmented, and you guys know how I feel about Purology in general. Their Hydrate line, love it. I actually just was recently at um, Ulta and picked up a really large size of their Color Fanatic leave-in treatment. Um, Purology is a hair care line that just really kind of speaks to me. And um, this is my first time with their uh, purple toning products, but I'm completely sold. Um, I did just go ahead and buy the mega sizes. I assumed that I would love them, and luckily I do. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you need a toning shampoo and conditioner for either your gray hair, your blonde hair, or maybe you have brunette hair with some blonde highlights and you're kind of, you know, looking to tone those. I honestly cannot recommend the Purology Strength Cure enough. Um, now, you don't have to buy the giant liter sizes. They are available in just, you know, their regular sizes as well, and that might be a great starting point. But the wonderful thing about Purology is that even if you purchase the smaller sizes, they are insanely concentrated. You need such a small amount. A little bit goes a long way. You will have those smaller bottles for a very long time. Um, but for me, like these, 33 ounce one liter sizes here. I mean, I'll probably have this for close to two years. Um, I typically tone my hair once a week. Um, sometimes I'll do it twice a week if I want to have the gray look maybe a little bit more of like a steely gray. Um, you can certainly achieve that with these two, but if I'm just looking to remove any of the yellow tones that my hair can kind of tend to pick up, um, gray hair will do that. Um, this takes care of that instantly, very quickly. This is so gentle on my hair. These will not leave your hair feeling like straw. If you currently are using a purple shampoo and conditioner and you feel like your hair looks and feels like straw afterwards, I know sometimes it can be hard to splurge on this type of stuff, but I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Love Purology, absolutely worth uh, checking out this brand overall. 
their hydrate line. I don't know if I, the, uh, those of you that have been here for a while know how I feel about their hydrate line. It's fabulous. That is another one that I would definitely recommend for gray hair as well. All right, let's move into some skincare products. So um, finally this week, I, <laughs> I got myself another pharmacy honey milk. I have already been through one entire bottle of this. Um, I just picked this up at my local Sephora. This is one of the newer products from pharmacy. I am actually a pharmacy partner. Um, I should have just ordered this from the website because I actually have a 20% discount code, but I didn't feel like waiting for this. <laughs> I was really missing it in my routine, so I just popped into my local Sephora and picked it up. Um, but if you want to save 20% and you are patient enough to wait for the delivery, uh, I will put my pharmacy discount code and link in the description box down below. Anyway, this has chamomile and ceramides in it. This is something that I love using both morning and night. Um, I will basically, you know, wash my face. Um, I won't dry my face with a towel or anything like that. You know, I'll just kind of... I don't know, like wipe off the excess water with my hands. And then I immediately go in with this product first. This soothes my skin instantly. If I am dealing with any irritation from using tretinoin multiple days in a row, this soothes it. It's hydrating. Um, it takes away redness in my skin. It's just a fabulous freaking product. It also provides me, again, with one of those nice light layers of hydration. And as someone with an oily skin type, um, it just it works a little bit better for me to use multiple lightweight products that have moisturizing properties versus one heavy moisturizer at the end of my skincare routine. It's just, it's a little bit better for the daytime and uh, allows my makeup to, you know, stay on my face a lot longer. So anyway, I do use heavier moisturizers in the evening, um, but that's obviously right before going to bed. And um, then I wake up with soft, plump skin, but I do realize that, you know, my skin does need some moisture throughout the day as well, but I just don't like loading it down with heavy, heavy stuff during the daytime. But if you have not tried this, check it out. It is so, so good. Love it. Okay. Um, Another uh, product I wanna mention is the, and I did do a micro needle routine video this week. If you missed that one, I will link it down below. Um, so I am using the Banish 3.0 system to micro needle right now. Um, I, I am loving the results of this, you guys. First of all, I really wasn't expecting much from their Banish serum. Um, this is a, um, it is a serum that is in a vegetable glycerin base. This has L-ascorbic acid, ferulic acid. There is jojoba oil in here, vitamin E. Um, yeah, just a really, really great serum to use after microneedling. Um, you see me putting it on in the video. It just almost kind of soothes the skin instantly. Um, on the days where I have been microneedling with this, this is the only skincare I've been using afterwards. And I gotta tell you, the results I've noticed so far is that this really has a great effect on my melasma. Um, it definitely makes it look a little bit lighter. Um, but also, and this is probably the best part, is that it is starting to help to refine the pores on my cheeks and on my nose especially. Um, everybody has pores. I don't think there's anything wrong with pores, but as someone who has had enlarged pores her whole life, I'm always looking to kind of minimize them. Um, I used to use the uh, microneedling rollers in the past. Um, I talk a little bit about the, uh, the, uh, the rollers in the video, and I mentioned that they're really probably not the best. You really want to use one of these stampers instead. Um, even if it's not this one, um, you know, find another one that floats your boat, but use the stampers instead because those needles enter the skin, you know, like straight on versus like and at multiple different angles when you are rolling um, the micro needler across your face, if that makes sense. So it's just a lot more gentle on your skin and um, less damage overall. So anyway, I am loving this system here. Um, I have now done five treatments 
Each little head here is good for eight uses. Um, it works out to about $4 per micro needling session. And um, I don't know, I, th I think that's a pretty good deal. And I also love that there's not a ton of waste with this. So you purchase the uh, replacement heads. So the only thing that really you know ends up in the landfill is this little part right here, not the entire handle. So. So far, I am loving the system. Um, this was sent to me in PR, by the way, so full disclosure about that. Um, I do have a discount code. I'll put the information in the description box down below if you'd like to check this system out. Um, honestly, I can't recommend it enough. It's It's been a really great experience. I don't find it painful, but I don't know. Pain is probably pretty subjective. Um, my eyes do water when I hit certain parts of my face, but um, it's, I don't consider that painful. So anyway, um, that is it for the skincare and these are the makeup items I wanna talk about. I'm gonna talk about these three first. So this week I felt a little bored with the makeup that I have in my everyday makeup drawer. So I decided it might be kind of fun to just randomly reach into my eyeshadow palette drawer and eyes closed, just grab a palette. And this is what I grabbed. So this is what I've been wearing pretty much all week. This is the eyeshadow that I have in my eyes today. Um, this is tiny, right? It's a Smashbox palette. Um, these are under $30. These are fabulous. I feel like no one ever really talks about these palettes. This is the CoverShot Minimalist Eye Palette. And let me show you guys the inside here. Um, you have kind of a nice little quad over here that is slightly more warm toned and a little quad over here that is slightly more, I would say, neutral toned. Um, I've been wearing both, just kind of alternating and really loving the matte eye looks that I have been getting from this. Um, I have not used the, um, the shimmer shades really. So this here is a shimmer, this is a shimmer, and then this larger one over here is kind of a shimmery shade. I've been sticking mostly with the mattes because that's just the look that I've preferred as of late. And um, listen, if you have never checked these out, these are fantastic. I'm really glad that this is the one that I picked up. And I think I'm gonna keep doing this where I just randomly grab a palette from the collection. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I think this will kind of be an interesting way to do my makeup for a little bit. I decided to do the same for blush. So the blush that I ended up uh, reaching for was the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Mykonos. Um, I'm actually wearing Mykonos today because I'm pairing it with a little bit more of like a neutral color. Um, I kind of took, used a little bit of a light hand, if you will. Um, honestly, this shade looks a little bit better with the warmer tones in this palette than it does with the cooler tones, but I decided this is what I picked this week, so we're using it, so I'm making it work. But yeah, this is a really great blush line for those of you that have an oily skin type. These stay put, they are quite pigmented, and there are a number of really great colors. Dolly and Mykonos are the two that I own, and um, yeah, they're fantastic. Dolly is a wonderful mauve, you guys. If you're looking for a really great neutral mauve shade, check out Dolly, it's wonderful. Did the same thing for lipstick, and this is what I pulled out. So I'm, I feel like this mostly looks like it goes together, but this is the lipstick that I'm wearing today. This is the Merit, um, what do they call their lipsticks? Signature, signature lipstick. <laughs> This is the shade Millennial. So let me show you guys what this color looks like. It's a really pretty rosy pink. Um, again, I'm wearing it right now. First of all, this formulation is fabulous. Um, very creamy, quite pigmented. Um, just so comfortable to wear. I am a huge, huge fan of this. Um, not only this lip color, but just this lipstick formulation. I feel like they have a decent color selection. Um, there's one other, what's the other shade that I have? I think it's, it's a nude, it's a really pretty nude. I'll put the name of it in the description box down below as well. So if you want something that's maybe a little bit even more neutral than this one, check out that shade. But yeah, great lipstick line, absolutely worth checking out. And the last thing I wanna mention is, 
Um, I have never used this BK Beauty 106 brush to contour with, but I started doing that recently and I really like how this fits um, right underneath my cheekbones here. It just really makes it super fast to do my contour. Also, it fits perfectly right underneath my jawline here. I will usually contour my jawline just right underneath here. Um, yeah, this is this is a great brush, you guys. It is like it's it's decently dense, but I don't think it's too dense. It really allows you to blend that contour out nicely. And these BK Beauty brushes are insanely soft. I really enjoy this one. Um, and before, honestly, I really didn't reach for it much, but um, I actually typically use this BK Beauty brush to contour with. This is the 107. This is actually a blush brush. So you can see this one's a, li a little bit more pinched. This one is a little bit more rounded in its shape. I mean, either one definitely gets the job done, but I'm kind of digging this one for contour these days. So yeah, maybe I'll actually try this one for blush. <laughs> I use this really old Sonia Kashuk brush <laughs> for my blush. So here you can see the Mykonos on there from a little earlier today, but um, yeah. Anyway, you guys, great brushes. If you're in the market for some new makeup brushes, BK, are, they're absolutely worth checking out. So. All right, that's everything I have for you this week. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. If you are new and you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to let me know uh, how your week was and what your personal um, beauty faves were in the comments down below. Um, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.